Well, hello everyone. As you're getting on, this is National Sales Director Kim McClure. I'm just getting everything set up here on my end because I've got an exciting, exciting class for you today as we're going to talk about how you could sell $20,000 worth of products in the next three months. So I'm so excited that you are starting and joining in with us. Hi Tara, glad you're on. Hi Melissa, I'm just loading up here on, on my different things here um, that I'm doing for my technology to be able to get connected with everybody here. So I'm doing a Zoom link as well. So we're letting everybody get on. Hi Amy Baldwin, I'm so glad you could be on. All right, you guys. Well, it's kind of weird because I'm recording here on Facebook Live and I'm also recording here on Zoom. And it's not that great of a screen. Oh, it says host is not in the meeting yet. I'm not really sure what that means here. So hold on here. I am the host. So I'm not really sure why that's doing it, but let's see what happens here, girls, okay? So first of all, I'm so glad that you are all on um, with us here today. And um, this is gonna be an exciting time, so you're gonna wanna grab a piece of paper and a pen so that you can take notes on what I'm gonna be sharing and teaching with you. Now, the first thing I want you to know is that this really works, the plan that I'm gonna give you. It is a plan that I have worked with a couple different consultants over the years where they have sold $20,000 or more of products within a short period of time. One of them was Nancy Dubensky. Nancy Dubensky started her business in uh, February and by the time June 30th had come, she had sold $32,000 worth of products, okay? Um, so that was, you know, part of February, March, April, May, June. So it was four, four and a half months, okay? I've done it with a couple other people as well. Um, one of them was Shelly Tomasic. And Shelly Tomasic, as she rolled into June, had to sell 10,000 retail to finish her ring, and she did it. So what I'm gonna teach you works. Are you ready? I wanna open up with um, a little bit of some history. Who here loves history? I wanna to talk to you about Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus bravely explored and conquered the new world, basing his expedition on sailors' speculations that land lay further west than anyone had ever traveled, he set out to find that world based solely on a hope that it existed. Columbus' confidence and certainty of success were so contagious that he actually convinced family members, sailors, and ultimately the Spanish king and queen to support his efforts to find new territory. The astonishing results of his first journey with just three ships led to securing 17 boats just to carry all those who wanted to accompany him. Okay, you guys, 17 boats. Like, that wasn't just like a little boat. I mean, they were massive boats with lots of people on them. Each of his four voyages explored new territory and further aroused interest and curiosity. Soon, even Columbus's most intense critics believed in a land they had never seen. Armed with our faith in God's word, our promised inheritance, and bold courage to press past the security oh, um, of his normal, like where he was, right? He had to go out and he had to discover this new world. And so he did something that had never been done before. And what you're looking at here is something you've never done before. But it doesn't matter if you've never done it before. What matters is what's in your heart. What matters is that commitment. What matters is the desire to do something incredibly amazing. You see, once our mind has been stretched, it never goes back to the original dimension in which it was, okay? And so the first thing that we wanna talk about is crossing the stage in Dallas at seminar 
when we go for the Ruby seminar. Now, if you're watching this video and you're not part of my national area, then you would be attending a different seminar. But this year, Mary Kay has announced that anybody who hits 20,000 retail from July 1st to June 30th gets to be on stage at seminar. Not just in our regular clothes, but in an evening gown for the awards afternoon. And if you're part of my national area, I'm going to have a special gift for you for finishing the Princess Court of Sales. Okay? I, I've been looking and this is my ring for being the queen of the Pearl Seminar. And I'm kind of looking for something in a crownish kind of theme. So if this is your goal to hit this 20,000 retail, I need your ring size because I want to order my rings, make sure that I get the rings that I want for you all because I'm going to be sharing this video with some people and they might want to be doing something like this and so I need to make sure I get my order in for what I want for you guys. And I can tell by the hearts you're excited about having a ring. Now, it's not going to be real diamonds and rubies, right? But I'm looking for something that will be sterling silver, that will be a good um, quality ring for you, okay? So that's what I'm looking for, okay? All right. Now, some of you are brand new consultants and you have nothing in. And if that's the case, you're going to have to work a little harder than the people who already have those. Well, let's say this. You're going to have to win a lot more to be able to accomplish this, right? We all love to win. And so the, here's where we're going to start talking about the strategy, okay? you got to make your decision that this is what you're going to do, okay? Then... You want to visualize, what will it be like to be on that seminar stage? I'm going to be popping in a video into our Facebook group talking about seminars so you can get a little visual of awards night for you. And for those of you that have already been to seminar, you can be commenting here um, as you're in between taking notes. Hi, everybody who's joining. I'm so glad that you're on. Thank you for taking this time. The next thing we're going to do is I want you to go out and get your gown that you're going to be wearing on awards night. And I want you to hang it there in your hall or on your door of your you know, bedroom or your closet so that you can visualize yourself wearing that gown. Now, you know, the first time that I was on stage, I bought a gown at a secondhand shop. It was like, I don't know, $30, right? The first time I was a million dollar director, you guys, I found a dress on the clearance rack from Macy's for $25. <laughs> I said, I'm probably the only million dollar director in the history of the company who bought a dress for $25, right? So your dresses don't have to cost you a lot. They could be short, they could be long, but it's important to have that visual for yourself of, of you know, being on stage, okay? The next thing I want you to do is you gotta come to seminar. So you gotta get your plane ticket. There are deals that are happening galore right now. Sometimes we've paid as much as $450 to go to seminar for airfare, but right now it's running about between 250 and 300, which is a pretty good deal, okay? So get your ticket, because then you're committed to going, okay? Really important. Making that decision and staying committed, okay? Now, let's talk about looking at your schedule. Some of you may have heard me teach my 90 time slots. That there are actually between 90 and 120 time slots in a month that you can be working. So this is how I come to that. There are three time slots every day, morning, afternoon, and evening, right? Three time slots times 30 days is 90 time slots. Well, on Saturdays, you can do something called Superstar Saturday, okay? A Superstar Saturday is where you book in one location, like at your house or at your studio. You book multiple time slots, and you have at least two or three hostesses coming at each time slot. That way, you're taking those three time slots, and you've now expanded that to like eight time slots. So you could do like a 10, a 1, a 4, and a 7, okay? Or a 9, a noon, 
um, a 3 and a 6 p.m. And so they could be coming and you could be doing two groups of people at each time. That would give you eight time slots on that Saturday. So if we add that all up, we break that all apart, you would actually, instead of just be doing three time slots on a Saturday, you would have eight time slots. So you're picking up five more um, on each Saturday. Five times four is 20 more time slots. So now we went from 90 time slots to 110 time slots. Even if you work a full-time job and we take off 10 time slots a week, times four weeks, because there's a morning and afternoon spent at your J-O-B, okay, every day, five days a week, that would be 40 time slots taken away from your 110. That is a lot of time, you guys. We just have to think about our time differently and we have to utilize our time to the fullest of our abilities, okay? You wanna enroll your family in this and talk to them about why this is gonna be really important and what it's gonna do for them. Now think about it. We're talking about selling all that product, selling 20,000 retail. So if you had nothing in and you sold $20,000 of products, that's 10,000 profit in your pocket. How hard would you have to work at your corporate job to make $10,000, okay? How hard? You can make that part-time in your Mary Kay business with this strategy, okay? Oh, by the way, this ring that I'm wearing is the ring that all new directors get when you become a brand new director from January 1st of this year to December 31st. Then you get this brand new ring, you and your senior director, okay? And you get other matching jewelry, and you get um, your director's suit at like half off. Pat Riziki just ordered her director's suit, and she got like all the pieces, the dress, the shirt, the skirt, the optional shirt, a jacket for like $210, she said. It was crazy. So really amazing bonuses of things that happen for you. Hi, guys. Glad you're on with us. So let's get into the strategy because I know you're like, come on, Kim, what's the strategy? Okay, the first strategy is parties, right? Parties is always where it's at. Parties are going to help you move the most product. And if you've been catching our Facebook videos or our trainings, if you went to career conference, you heard the strategy of get out of the gate with eight, eight parties in the month of April. Do mighty fine with nine, nine parties in the month of May. And in the month of June, the perfect 10. That would be 27 parties. Think of it as 27 appointments with gatherings of friends, okay? 27 appointments. Now, I just told you how you had 110 time slots. Times three months is 330 time slots. And you're talking about finding time for 27 appointments. Do you think you can do that between now and the end of June? Because I really know that you can do that. Nothing can stop a woman whose heart is made up and whose soul is on fire for that goal. And by the way, besides the money, why else would you want to do it? Well, there's pride, there's prestige, there's the personal growth that happens, the confidence that happens, helping other people in that process that happens. It's bringing other people on the journey. It's because you want to get into DIQ or you want to earn a free car. Like there's so many reasons. But for our national area, you guys, this is huge. Because we are just like almost to diamond circle. If everything stays what we've been doing, we're going to be like this far away from diamond circle. It's what we've been working for all year long. But with you pulling together, then guess what? We could hit diamond circle because it's going to take a massive movement of all of us doing the and then some and then some. And so this would be something that you're doing for the whole national area is getting this done because it's what's going to take us over that finish line for being diamond circle. And it's going to help your unit and your team as well. And if you're one of our adorables, it's going to be inspiring to everybody else as well as happen, ha helping your unit, okay? 
So let's talk about these 27 parties. If you did 27 parties and you sold $500 at every party, we're calling that an epic party, okay? It's something that we used to do when we were tracking for a million was break it down to how many $500 clients we needed who would either host a party and generate $500 in sales or who would um, order $500 or who would do a book party and get $500 in orders. Somehow she helps you get $500 in, in products sold. And so it, that would be a way to make this happen. And what Lauren Bloomer's unit is doing, the girls in that unit, is every epic hostess, they're inviting her to a party. So you could host your own party and set aside some of the money from the profit of each party. Like, what if you set aside, you know, 10 to $20 profit from each party? You know, maybe just $10 from each party, right? That would be $270. You could do a drawing for $100 cash. You could do two more drawings for $50, three drawings for $50 cash. And then you could have two drawings for $10 or one drawing for $20. That would be a cash drawing of $270. And then you could give a gift to every epic hostess who hostessed and was responsible for bringing in $500 of business. You might create a tribute to her on your Facebook page. You might have like a wall that you would commemorate, but you're enrolling other people in the vision. Okay, so 27 parties times $500, guess how much that is? $13,500. $13,500, okay? Let's say they're more like 350, okay? 350 is kind of an average-ish sort of party, so that would be $9,450. $9,450, okay? But you know, Mary Kay said, if you really want to go somewhere in our business, you really need to be doing a minimum of three parties a week. So let's say that you did three parties a week. So you did 36 parties by the end of June, okay? I know one week's gone by. We're going to have to like add those extra parties in. But 36 parties. If you did 36 parties at $300, it would be $10,800 in sales. Remember, half of this is your paycheck, you guys. And if they were $500 parties and you did 36 parties, it would be 18,000 retail. Remember, we're getting to 20,000 retail for you to be on that stage with 10,000 women, like screaming, cheering, going wild and crazy for you. I mean, that's craziness, you guys. To think that you could do that and how the reorder business that you're going to be building out of that, the friends you're going to be making out of that, like the new team members that are going to come out of that, it's crazy what's going to happen from doing that. So if you have like zero in three parties a week and there are $500 parties, that would be 18000 I think sometimes, you guys, the reason we don't have bigger parties is we don't set that goal. And we're not working it, right? So you want to give your hostess that incentive to have her get to $500. Jenna Bloomer, who's in DIQ, heard about this idea. She went and did a party, I think on Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and she had her first epic hostess, $500, okay? <laughs> Melissa, the Penguins just scored twice. Yay! Our Penguins are in the Stanley Cup um, playoffs. And so um, they are playing right now. And we just got two goals. So thank you for the update, Melissa. That's great. Okay, now let's talk about how you can boost these parties up. One way would be doing a repair party. You have customers who love repair and asking them if they could grab a couple girlfriends around their kitchen table so that you could do a repair party and help her get her next set at half off, right? For gathering some girls around the table because if she's using repair, her friends and family are gonna love repair and that could be a $1,000 party right there, okay? 
Another way to get your party sales up would be doing outside orders, giving her a target and a goal. We used to do this all the time and it's kind of fallen by the wayside and it's a shame because it shows the hostess that she can really start selling products. Like she doesn't even know what she's doing and she's getting products sold. So give her a target of like $200 in sales, you know, 150 in sales and then make it worth her while because you're trying to get the sales up there, the retail products sold so that it gets you to the 20,000 retail, you could be a little bit more generous, but only if she has a regular party would you be extra generous, okay? So usually I typically give my hostess $25 in free products when she sells 100. So if she sold 200, maybe you would give her, you know, $75 of products or $70 of products, you know, on top of whatever you're giving her in hostess credit, okay? So outside orders, giving her an incentive to hit that $500 mark. One is she gets to come to the party and she's going to get an extra gift and she could win, you know, cash from being a $500 hostess. Maybe you give her some type of extra goodie like a brush set. If you've got some brush sets that you wanna move off your shelf or um, you've got something, some other product that you wanna you know, be able to bless her with, okay? Give her something extra for doing that. Um, how about Strive for Five? This was something that Ann Sherman coined years ago. And Strive for Five is when a hostess has five people there and she then gets, super easy you guys, in her birthday month, everything is 25% off and all year long, she gets all the glamour that she wants, color items, at 25% off. That would be a great incentive. You wouldn't have to give her like a brush set or give her something else, just give her 25% off for the next year because guess what happens? Color is not that much. Most people don't buy that much color. So it's gonna encourage her to buy more and more and more color. And then when her year's up, guess what? She either needs to do another party with five new friends that she's introducing you to, or she goes back and pays full price, okay? So that's a great incentive, is the strive for five. Absolutely, absolutely love that, okay? Um, you have, um, I'll come to this just in one second. So let me give you some other ideas on this, okay? I would definitely be having one time a week that I, or one time every two weeks that I would have people coming to my house if I wasn't doing like a superstar Saturday. But definitely because sometimes you meet people and all they want to do is just get together with you. They don't want to share their time with friends. So rather than you running around and doing all these individual facials, you can say, I do appointments Saturday morning, you know, at my house um, at 10 a.m., or if you want to share your appointments with a couple, your appointment with a couple of friends, I'll be happy to come to you. Okay, so I do appointments in my studio for people um, at 10 a.m. Or if you want to have a couple friends join you, I'll come to you. Okay, so that's another way of kind of booking and booking people in, doing second appointments and, and gathering people together if they don't want to have friends join them. That works really well as well. Okay. Maybe you need some leads. So I'm gonna give you a couple ways to get some leads, okay? Um, one might be doing your spring portfolio. Sometimes consultants will say, well, I've already facialed everybody. Well, you probably facialed them two or three months ago, okay? And now it's spring and they're buying new clothes and they're wearing different jewelry and they need, they're lightening up their hair. They're gonna start getting some color on their face if the snow ever goes away and they need new makeup. Don't think that just because somebody had a facial with you six months ago or a year ago that they don't need anything, you guys. Why do you think in the checkout aisle there are beauty products everywhere you go? It's that impulse by, oh, I need this, oh, I need this. So we've gotta make sure we're staying in front of our customers' faces and connecting with that, okay? So doing a spring portfolio and calling all the people you've already facialed and saying, hey, I have a goal in honor of Mary Kay's 100th birthday, I wanna have 100 women in my spring portfolio. 
Now, I do not do full color. Like, I don't get into all the... I still just do a dash out the door. Maybe I'll do cream, two cream eyeshadows instead of one, okay? And then I'll book them for a second appointment to do more color, and then they can pick which picture they want, or I'll put both pictures in. Kind of the daytime soft look, and then more of a classic or going out look. Okay, so spring portfolios, you guys, that's always how I booked. Every quarter, calling my customers, booking those portfolios, every single quarter. Um, another way that you could do this, this is really fun, it's called facialing the alphabet. It's A to Z, and um, X or Q is free, or both is free. And your goal is to facial people whose first name or last name begins with every letter of the alphabet, okay? It's super fun, and it just is a fun way to get people involved and get them booking. So in honor of Mary Kay's 100th birthday, I'm facialing the alphabet in the next 30 days. And your first name begins with an A, and your last name begins with an R, and I need both of those. Is there any reason why you couldn't be my A or my R, okay? And you book them. Is there any reason why you couldn't be my A or my R? I'd really appreciate it. I'm so committed to facialing, you know, the, the alphabet in the next 30 days. Facialing women of the alphabet. How about this? How about asking 10 of your customers to take 10 profile cards to get them filled out, saying that you're surveying 100 women in the next two weeks? And as a thank you for giving them, you know, telling about your skin, that you're going to have some gift card drawings. Say, I'm going to have, you know, I'm, I'm surveying, you can say I'm surveying 200 women if you want, and I'm having 55 gift card drawings in honor of Mary Kay's 55th anniversary, right? So they know that if somebody in their office gets a gift card and somebody else does, it's because you got, you're doing 55 gift cards, okay? So those are some of my fun booking ideas that I like. How about hostessing different types of parties? If they did a basic skincare class, you could be doing a spa experience class or a beauty experience class or a color bar experience class. Or how about a luscious lips class when you just focus on lip color? Of course, you always do satin hands and you always do hand shawls on the back of their hand and then you focus on the target pro product. You could do eye cream socials. Okay, We're, it's all about the eyes. So, so many different things that you could do with the new TimeWise body. You could do a body class and you could talk about sunscreens and keeping people healthy with sunscreens as well. So that's just a couple other ideas for you. Um, ah, how about some booking ideas, like booking um, hostess plans, right? So what if they had five girls there and $500 in sales, would you give her $100 in free products? I sure would, you know, I would definitely do that. Or how about some of those hard to book people giving them a free roll up bag for sharing their appointment with a couple of girlfriends, okay? Um, how about when the new 3D comes out, how about letting your customer have it for half off when she has five girls there? right? Because again, the sales are going to be that 3D is amazing, you guys. Again, don't breathe like too much about it right now to your customers, but it's coming. And I'm going to talk about working your existing customer base in a minute. How about a filled compact for the same price as the day of their party? So if they book it on April 12th, they get it for $12. It's really good when you're kicking off a new month and you want to get people booked in on May 1st, May 2nd, you know, to get that happening, to make them book in close for you, okay? All right, um, so those are just some ideas, but the best one, it's the one that you would book for. Which of those would get you so excited that you would book a party or that gets you so excited to offer to your family, to your girlfriends, to potential women that you're meeting. I love Just to Jesus, how you're encouraging Amanda on that. I took a big swig. Do you like my mug? This is an oh shiny mug. I went and did an event in Westlake, Ohio with Michelle Cunningham who y'all know from the inventory video, and this was our mug that she gave me. And so I think this is me 
Kim. Yeah, this is me. Um, <coughs> it's one of my favorite mugs. I need to tell Michelle that. Okay, oh, shiny moment. Let's talk about um, our working our existing customer base and getting some sales going. Because remember, we're going to have reorders coming in, and you're going to have people just doing miscellaneous sales as well. So you can call your customers and tell them, guess what? We just found out that Mary Kay is redoing the Miracle Set, a brand new formula coming out in May for Mary Kay's 100th birthday, because Mary Kay Ash would have been 100, and it's going to be, the, the people are saying it's amazing. I don't have it yet. You, say, you can say to them, I don't have it yet, but I'm hearing great things about it. I wanted to let you know right about, oh, Kristen, you're right by Westlake. Well, you could hook up and go to Michelle's events there. Um, so thanks, Marie, for loving all my ideas. Um, you could say to her, um, when we start making the new Miracle Set, when it starts coming off, it's called the Miracle Set 3D. When the 3D Miracle Set starts coming out, they're going to quit making the existing TimeWise formula. And so I wanted to see if you wanted to stock up on the, the formulation that you have, okay? And see, because you guys, some women don't like change. And they might buy five Miracle Sets between now, right now. Or they might go, yeah, send me two Miracle Sets. Send me four moisturizers. Send me five cleansers. Send me six day solutions. Because we're not going to make any more of the existing Miracle Sets, you guys. So no more TimeWise 3-in-1 Cleanser. No more TimeWise Moisturizer. No more day solution or night solution. What is staying in the line, okay, is, are you having trouble hearing me? Can you hear me okay? I hope you can. Um, what is staying in the line is the time-wise bar, the bar's not going away, okay, and the firming eye cream. But anything else of the Miracle Set including I think the regular TimeWise moisturizer with SPF 30 is going away, okay? Um, and so thank you guys. So if you lost it, you'll have to go back and, and get it, but I'm glad everybody else like it kept on connecting. Um, so following up with your existing Miracle Set customers, okay? Telling them about the new thing you wanted to let them know it's coming, see if they wanted to stock up, okay? And then say, and of course, I'd love you to be one of the first people to try and be part of our test panel. So could I invite you as soon as I have some test panels set up? Or, gosh, and if she goes, yes, yeah, I would love to. Say, well, would you host a test panel and get some of your neighbors to come together, some of your family or friends to come together? And... That's a way that you can turn that into a booking because you'll be able to order the new products May 10th if you did PCP, if, and PCP deadline is this coming Tuesday, April 17th. Otherwise, everybody's gonna be able to order May 12th, but if there's a time to enroll in Preferred Customer Program, it's right now for this quarter because you want everybody you know to get the new lookbook with samples of uh, with whatever samples they're putting in there but it's gonna be so beautiful the new lookbook is amazing and it's all about the new TimeWise 3D so you're gonna love it you will totally love it okay I have one other idea that popped in my head about helping to boost your party sales and party attendance and I always gave a gift called a girlfriend gift a girlfriend gift is where she has people from three different areas of her life so she has people from um, maybe church, from work, her neighborhood, her friends, and um, maybe her family. So five different areas of her life. Three different. She needs people from three different areas of her life to get the girlfriend gift. And the reason that I do that is it helps you get more future bookings from every party that you do. Because they don't all look around and go, well, everybody I know is here. You know, you've got people in different pockets of her life that could help introduce you to other people. 
Also, if the hostess doesn't recruit and you recruit one of the guests, you don't give away all the other parties because they didn't all know each other, right? So that girlfriend gift is really key, super key. Okay, let's go on. So, so far we've been talking about generating in retail sales somewhere between $9,450 Yes, it is a more fun party, and guess what? They behave themselves. They don't all try and talk about over each other and everything else because they're trying to be like on best behavior and impress each other. <laughs> hey, Jess, how you doing? Okay, so, so far we've talked about how to sell somewhere between $9,450 and $18,000 just from parties, okay? Then we talked about reaching out to your reorder customers. And I'm going to guess that from reorder customers, let's say you have a very small customer base, that you could be getting at least $100 a week in reorders. And how I would always do that is whenever I called for reorders, I would offer them some special on a product they're not already using. And I would say, because you're one of my preferred customers, Here's my special of the month for you. And it would be a product that would be consumable that they would use up and then they would want more of, okay? Because I wanted them, they're gonna be reordering at full price and I want my customers on at least 10 products. Because when they're on 10 products from us, they think about us all the time. All the time, all the time, all the time. So if you had a minimum of $100 in sales and reorders over the next 11 weeks, that would be $1,100 in sales, okay? So write that down. Retail sales. The next way that you can get retail sales is with silent hostesses. You know, old-fashioned book party hostesses. You give her, she's like, oh, I'm so busy, I can't really do anything, and you go, hey, could you help me take some orders because I'm really working to, to have $20,000 in sales in three months, set a record for my unit, and I'm gonna be on stage in Dallas with 10, in front of 10,000 women on our awards night, kinda like the Miss America pageant, you know? And so I'm gonna have a big party for everybody who helps me out, and I'll have door prizes, and it's gonna be really a fun night. And so if you could help me generate some sales right now, then you'll get an invitation to the party, okay? So if let's say that you have two people a week. Mary Kay would always say you needed a couple of these every week. So two people each week who just got $100 in sales for you, okay? That would be $200 in sales times 12 weeks. I just picked 12 because even though we're not in 12 exactly, that would be $2,400 in sales, okay? On top of the party sales, on top of the outside order sales, okay? All right, so how about this? How, here's another idea. What if you created $100, $100 bag of products and ask someone to sell that for you. And when she sold that, she would get $25 free for herself. You know, women will work for free stuff. So think about all, you know, the people that you know that work in offices, that are social, they live in neighborhoods, they have big families. I mean, they can take pictures of the product. They can do so many different things, right? But honestly, selling $100 is only seven mascaras or seven lip glosses. It's really not much at all. It's like two miracle sets, you know? Or it could be 15 eye makeup removers. It's really easy. It could be three satin hand sets is $100. I think it's pretty easy to generate like $30 to $40 in reorder sales or reorder sales in outside sales per person because so many people know about the name Mary Kay and our lookbooks are beautiful. So whenever you do a silent hostess, whenever you want a hostess to take outside orders, you need to give her books. You need to give her at least three books. She needs one for her purse, one for her desk, and one for the break room. And maybe a couple extra, because you know sometimes people want to keep the books and look at them, right? So make sure you order a bunch of books. Now we're getting new lookbooks May 12th with the new Miracle Set, 
but that doesn't you can give out some of the books that you already have because I never go through all my books it seems like I always have a couple extra books laying around so make sure that you've got extra lookbooks to do this so you know that could be another way that you could do two of those silent hostesses in a week okay so that's still in that twenty four hundred dollars how about this how about a loaded lookbook did you ever do a loaded lookbook you know our eyeshadow samples and our cheek color samples the backing peels off and it's sticky and so you paste those samples all over a lookbook we call it a loaded lookbook so people can actually open up the little plastic piece take try some of the color on their hand you sell so much more if you give a hostess a loaded lookbook it doesn't have to be that the colors are all on the right pages that can be all over your book you know you can have different colors because it encourages them to flip through the book to see all of the pages that are in there so that would be another way to get two people to help you generate at least a hundred dollars in sales if not way more than that okay so those were four different ideas under silent hostess kind of things okay um, how about this do you know people who are out of town from you what if you sent them a facial in a bag or even better yet a party in a box okay what is that a party in a box is where you take a um, goodie bag for her party okay so it means you have to pre-profile yeah this takes a little bit of work but you would send something like this to each person who's gonna be at her party so she has to get you the names and numbers you pre-profile you create a little goodie bag for each guest you put these in a box that's what we call it party in a box okay in the box you also put door prizes get wrapped up you put tickets for the door prize drawing you put some lookbooks you put profile cards and you also put a mini satin hand set for your hostess to do satin hands with everybody okay um, you might even put some little plastic clear plastic trays they need to bring their own mirrors okay and basically your hostess is like your Vanna so she sets you up on her iPad or on her computer you sit on the kitchen table and you're talking just like we're talking right now you could use Facebook video to do it you could use Skype there's an app called whatsapp that makes that allows you to do videos it's w h a t apostrophe s a p p what's app and um and so it allows you to video that's how austin and i would video all the time when he was in madrid last year and so it's an international app um, and so you could be doing parties in a box and here's the really cool thing when your time is busy let's say that you booked a party in california so you could do a 6 or a 6.30 party here, come home and do a party at 9.30 or 10 o'clock at night our time, which is 6.30 or 7 p.m. California time, right? West Coast time. And so you could be doing two parties in one night and you could be sitting in your jammy bottoms looking cute like I am. You don't know if I have my jammy bottoms on or not, right? So that's a party in a box, okay? But it does take some setup time, but you could do that. So what if you ask 12 people that live remote from you to help you with a test panel on a virtual kind of party, okay? On a remote party. That, you could do that, and if you did 12 of those, okay? Again, see, it takes a little planning, but you could do that, 12 of those, let's say you did you sold two hundred dollars at each one times twelve that's another twenty four hundred dollars in retail sales working with people who are out of town if you don't have twelve people that you know that are out of town ask your co-workers ask your family ask people that you know ask your fr Facebook friends hey who do you know that lives outside this area I'm looking to test pilot a new kind of party for Mary Kay um, virtually and remotely and it's super fun called a party in a box okay if you're doing facial in a bag you could mail this to a friend but the key whenever you're doing something is doing it over the phone with her so that you can walk her through the steps that's really really key okay so that's another thing you can do how am I on time oh my gosh 
Okay, here we go. Um, so asking for referrals, let me see if I missed anything. I think that's it. Okay, how about gifting? We've got several holidays. Yes, just think of family for sure on that. So we've got several holidays coming up. In this month of April, we have Administrative Professional Day. You could be selling to business owners, okay? Gifts for that. My, think about all the people you do business with. My pediatrician, the ophthalmology office where you get your glasses or the optometry office. How about your dentist office? Your insurance agent's office. Just look through your checkbook or through your register to see every place that you're writing checks to. How about your vet, okay? And what a lot of offices do is that they don't just recognize the administrative assistant, they recognize everybody in the office. So that's a good opportunity. What if you did like a mug with a hand cream? They might put in their own gift card with it, but then it's a gift that every time they're using their mug or their hand cream, they're thinking about how nice their employer is. Because once the gift card's gone, they kind of forget that their employer gave them that. But the hand cream, they think, oh, I got this from my boss. This was really nice. I reached out to um, a pediatrician's office when I was a brand new consultant and I sold 25 hand creams, okay, in a mug. And so that's like a $15 gift set right there. And if they have men, shaving cream, right? So, you know, 25 times 15, that was like, I don't know, 300 and something dollar sales right there. So gifting, okay? What other holidays do we have coming up? We have Mother's Day, huge. Everybody needs gifts for mom. There's a really cute poem about um, your the mother's helping hands, like you loved me, you picked me up for all those ways, all the ways your hands loved me, here's a gift back for you and your hands. And it's satin hands. And you put it like in a little clay pot with like some seeds and gardening tools or something like that. Or just make it like with a flower pot with flowers in it, artificial flowers. Um, but you can Google that. Actually, our very own Sue Golden here in the Pittsburgh area created that poem. And so you can find it on Pinterest, Mary Kay Mother's Day Ideas. You'll find that. We also have Nurses Day and we have Teachers Day coming up the week of May 7th through May 12th. That's tons of booking opportunities with all the nurses that you know, all the teachers that you know, lead generating events galore between the whole week of Administrative Professionals Week at lunchtime is great lead generating. Um, Mother's Day brunches, there's always people waiting, so you give up some of your morning to do a lead generating event for Mother's Day to honor all the moms while they're waiting for their tables at brunch, okay? Um, I think that's the single biggest day that people go out to eat is Mother's Day. So that's an opportunity for you. Um, nurses Day, you could talk to you know, a hospital, a nursing home, something like that. That's a lead generating event, pampering all those women, talking to those places about gifts for the nurses. Um, so that's huge. Teachers Appreciation Week, you could go pamper all the teachers' hands, maybe do something in the teacher's lounge. Um, there's lots of opportunities for Teachers Week, but just think about all the booking opportunities between Administrative Professionals, Nurses Day, Teachers Day, Mother's Day, Mother's Day makeovers, mother-daughter makeovers. You could be doing that from now till the end of May, you guys. So many opportunities. Father's Day is in there. Graduation gifts. Our new brush set, our charcoal mask makes a perfect like graduation gift for people. So what if you sold 10 gifts at $360, at $36? That would be another $360. But you could go wild with that. You could have $3,000 just in gifting alone if that's something you love to do. How about fundraisers, okay? Usually when we do fundraisers, we stay away from core products, meaning no skincare, right? Because you can't follow up, make sure they love it, find out how they're doing with their skin. Plus, it's what some people are using to like pay their bills. They're counting on those sales to come in. Because once you've been in business for a while, you realize that the products get used up every three months or every four months like clockwork, okay? So we usually stay away from core skincare and we do easy things like black eyeliner, mascara, eye makeup remover, 
lip glosses, um, sunscreens, um, after sun gel that we have right now that's limited edition item, but it's still available right now. So foundation primer, makeup finishing spray, things like that that it doesn't require color match. They're great products that are home runs that people are going to fall in love with, okay? So that's what I would do as a fundraiser. It could be for the you know softball team, the band, the cheerleaders, the drill team, um, sororities, all kinds of people are looking for fundraisers like that. What do you give as profits? A minimum of 25% to a maximum of 50%. And that's because you want to see the organization like make a lot of money and be successful. If I'm giving 50%, they are doing all the work. So I'm going to make sure that all the product, like I'm going to deliver all the product to one person. Um, I might get the product and have the packing slip because otherwise they get my packing slip, right? But if it's a whole bunch of product, I might just deliver it to that person and just print out the packing slips from Mary Kay, print out my order form so I have that, okay? But fundraisers could be huge. All right, let's talk about another item. I have this as item seven. These are fun sales ideas to enroll your customers. You might have heard of 24, 24, 24. That is selling to 24 people, $24 of products in a 24 hour window. Now you can stretch that to 48 hours if you want, but it's just a fun thing like I'm in a contest to do this and everybody who helps me with $24, you get one extra item of your choice at half off. So purchase $24 or more and you get one extra item of your choice at half off. If you had 24 people who did $24 exactly, guess how much that is? $576 in sales. That doesn't even include the half off items, okay? So that might be one month. Then another month you might be, I'm in a challenge to sell 48 items in four days time. 48 items in four days time. And when I hit my goal, I'm gonna draw and one person is gonna get $48 of products for free. It could be $48 off their order or it could be $48 on a future order. It's your choice how you want to do that, okay? Um, now, you might go, well, I don't know that I can do that. Well, what if you get partway done? Like, you're still going to be making some nice, significant money. So don't, like, go, well, I don't know if I can do all of it. Do what you can and then see what happens because you can say, hey, who do you know that you might pass this offer on to that maybe might want to try Mary Kay out? We're not interested in really taking other people's customers, but sometimes we do in book parties or these kind of sales. Somebody tells a friend. So whenever you're picking up a new customer, you always want to make sure when you're connecting back with her to make sure she loved her product, does she have a Mary Kay consultant already? Because if she does, you don't want to put her on your preferred customer program list. Um, if she doesn't, then she's your new customer. So it's a great way to get new customers. So 48 items at $15 an item, guess how much? $720, you guys. So are you seeing how we're adding all these different things up? Okay, how about this? This is another fun. This is like a flash sale. So, you know, right now, Mary Kay has buy one, get one mascara at half, at half off. Have you been offering that to your customers? If not, you have until April 15th, Sunday night, to place your order for that, okay? Watch to see what other kinds of things might come out. We're playing around with some new concepts that the national sales directors ask the company to think about doing because we've heard in other countries they were doing some of these things and people loved it. Like in the Netherlands, like everybody goes crazy the minute a flash sale is announced. Everybody orders the maximum amount that they can because it's always capped. Um, so that now you're going to be making extra profit. And then they focus on selling that product, okay? So how about this? How about doing a mascara-thon? 
that was what I would be kicking off between now and for end Sunday, okay? Buy one mascara, get a second one at half off. Just sharing what the company is doing because you're still gonna be making money on that, right? And now you've got them on that brand new, exciting Lash Intensity Mascara. If you're new to Mary Kay, there are special instructions on how to use that on my app under resources. And it's McClure National Area, you have to search for it that way. The username and the password are exactly the same. It's lowercase mk. And you'll find it in the resources. You'll find lash intensity instructions. And I do recommend that you give that to people with that mascara because it's an interesting brush that you have to kind of learn how to use to get the best results. So we talked about a mascarathon. Uh, if you did a mascarathon, okay, 10 mascaras sold, buy one, get one at half off, but just 10 mascaras sold, at $15 each is $150. This is something you could be asking somebody else to do for you. You could be asking a coworker to see if she can help you sell 10 mascaras and you'll give her blank for free. You'll give her one or two for free. You'll give her a mascara and an eye makeup remover or something. If you had 10 people helping you sell 10 mascaras, no buy one, get one, just regular mascaras, that would be $1,500 in sales from that, just from that. Or how about this, having somebody help you sell 10 lip glosses or 10 lipsticks. So lip glosses would be the same. Lipsticks, 10 lipstick sales is $180. If you had 10 women helping you with that, that would be $1,800 in sales to help you towards that 20,000 retail goal, okay? But you gotta enroll other people. You gotta say, I have this amazing opportunity. The company's not ever done this before. And when I hit my goal, I'm gonna be able to be on stage in Dallas on an evening gown in front of 10,000 women cheering me on, representing my national area, and it's gonna help our national area finish as one of the top 10 areas in, in, our, in our group. Top 10, like that's huge, you guys. So if you could help me that way, you're helping so many people win, and I wanna thank you for helping us. So you guess what? You gotta kinda call people so they can hear your passion and excitement. They can't really hear it in a text message, you guys. You will get so much more if you actually pick up the phone. You're probably gonna leave a voicemail, but then shoot them a text message that says, hey, I just left you an important message. Okay, we're almost out of time, so I've got a couple last ideas for you. How about a phone lotto? This is something we used to do. We used to say that we were giving, um, we used to have a, a prize, like, $50 of free products, let's say, or a microdermabrasion set or something that we were giving away. And for every $10 that somebody purchased, that they would get their name in our drawing. And as soon as we hit our goal of, you know, however many sales we needed or however much sales we needed, then we gave away you know, whatever we were drawing for. So let's say we said, my goal today is to sell $300, okay? Um, and so everybody who orders something, I'm, for every $10, I'll put your name in my drawing. So they order 28 and you go, do you wanna get one more thing? Cause that'll take you over 30. Hey Mindy, hi Chris Rice, hi mom. Um, and so you could say that to them and that helps up their sales. Just like you guys, you know, the deluxe minis, the, re the deluxe minis are there so that you can upsell to $40 or more. So that when they spend $40 or more, then they can get choose a gift. That's to help you upsell. It's not like you put it in after, after the fact and they don't know they're getting. Yes, you can do that. But the idea was to take a $12 eyeliner and get it to $40. And we've kind of lost that. And so don't forget about that and use that to help get that those reorders up to $40. People will do it all the time. Hi, Karen Lynn. Okay. Um, now, once a year, I do a big sale to my customers in June every year. I call it my pink truckload sale. 
And my goal, the first time I did it, was to sell a thousand dollars. Okay, a thousand dollars. I was like out of my mind, going, "Are you kidding me? I could sell a thousand dollars in one day? Ah, I couldn't believe it." Right? Well, I sold about mm, five, six hundred, maybe, maybe four hundred. Then I got on the phone and I started calling everybody I hadn't heard from, and guess what? I told him I was my passion was to have a thousand dollars. I wanted to to prove to myself. I wanted to prove to my girls that I could do it. And if they could, I just wanted to see what they needed to help them look gorgeous because it's still ten percent off. And I got to a thousand dollars in sales. Now I had to work the phones and call everybody and. But it was worth it and it was exhilarating to see that you could do that in one day's time. My biggest truckload sale um, was, I think, was almost $5,000 because then your customers like know to expect it and your customer base grows and grows each year. So imagine selling $5,000 in one day. Again, I had to get on the phone and work it and call everybody I didn't hear from, but they were like, oh shoot, I meant to call you. And so the pink truck sale, the way it works, is you give them a percent off super early in the morning, like six to seven a.m., okay? Or seven to 7.30 a.m. is my biggest sale. I do it for one day only, one day only, okay? And it's very limited window of time where they get it at 17% off, okay? So I do like 7 to 7.30 is 17% off. 7.30 to 8 is 15% off. 8 to 8.30 is 13% off. And the rest of the day is 10% off. And that's all the biggest I ever discount my products. It's the only day of the year that I discount everything across the board on sale. You see, if we're always putting things on sale, then people will wait to buy. So I'd rather do like buy one, get something at half off. Or buy something, you know, spend $24, get an item at half off. Or, you know, whatever, here's my product of the month. You know, there's something special there for them. Um, but that would generate you another $1,000 in sales, okay? Okay, how about this one? Sampler Fridays. This is where you take your sample book to somebody's office or to their home and you lay out all your samples and they can take as many samples as they want and they have to call you within three days time and whatever they want of those samples is like 20% off. But they have to call you within three days time, okay? And it has to be something that they're not already using. So that's another idea. I didn't put a value on that because it just depends. But it's just a fun idea. It's something you can do kind of quick or spur of the moment on things. As fillers, when you hit a lull and you're like, okay, I don't have any bookings the next couple days, what can I do? You know, these are some different kinds of ideas that you can stimulate. Um, how about... OPS. OPS stands for other people selling. Okay? Other people selling. This is where somebody takes like one of their favorite products and they take five orders for that product and then they get that product themselves for free. Okay? So you're giving them some of your profits. So let's say it's the miracle set, right? She sells five miracle sets for you. That would be $275 in sales. Half of that is $137.50, okay, is your profit. You're going to buy her miracle set for her. So that's going to take $27.50 of your profit. You still made $110.50, okay? And you just moved $275. Like you got $275 retail dollars towards your goal of your 20,000, 
So you can do that with, and it's just targeting a single product and saying, you know, she's like raving about it. I love this product, you know, and you'd be like, great. You know what? I would love to get some other people that, you know, loving that product as well. So, you know, I'm in this contest right now. I'm working to have $20,000 in sales in three months time by the end of June. It's more than I've ever sold before. And when I do that, I get to be on stage at Mary Kay's awards event in a long evening gown in front of 10,000 people. And I'm helping my unit and my area do this huge goal. Like, it's like win, win, win. And so if you could help me get some orders for that, then I really want to bless you with something. Like, I'd love to give you one of those for free. You know, now if it's like foundation primer, if you say you can sell five of those, get to a hundred dollars, I'll give you $25 in free product. Like just make it worth her while because it's somebody else helping you sell and now you've got new names and new leads. Okay, you guys, I think that I have like hit all of my high points that I had for you. Okay. Some of these ideas are going to be comfortable and some of them are not but all it takes is 20 seconds of courage 20 seconds of courage to pick up the phone and say something 20 seconds of courage to offer a stranger your business card like your beautiful skin you know what kind of makeup are you wearing or what's your skincare you know and she tells you and you say may I give you my business card okay and now you've connected with somebody and you can say hey I'm doing a drawing for free makeup. It's Mary Kate's 55th anniversary. Could I put you in my drawing? And now, and, and I'll text you my business card. You can make a business card on pick collage, okay? And so now you're able to get her phone number. And then you save her phone number, you put her name in your phone, and you type in the word free, F-R-E-E. -E, and I type in the month and the year. So I'd be like four space 18. And then I can go home and I can search everybody in my phone with the word free and it will show me all the people that I'm putting in my drawing. Okay? I'm glad you guys love these ideas. Thank you. You guys, they're the ideas that have helped me build this business. 19 times um, of my 20... Uh, one years before I was a national sales director. Wait, let's see. I've been in the business 26 years now. So 20 years of being a beauty consultant slash director. I was a beauty consultant for 18 months and then I became a director. And I have done, I did the national court of sales every year but my very first year, selling somewhere between $30,000 and $70,000 worth of products in a year. And these were the ideas that I worked and I used all along when I needed things or when I was helping one of my units stretch for a big goal. So they really do work, you guys. We're doing this recording right now in April of 2018, but I want to save this because it's an, a recording that will last for a really long time. And one last thing that I need to say. And, and that in Chris Rice, congratulations for stepping out of your comfort zone. I can tell. I can see what you're doing, girl. So one last thing, and that is that we have Mary Kay's makeup artist, Sarah Cool, coming in to Pittsburgh Saturday, April 28th. You guys, she normally works the West Coast, but she's coming in here as a thank you to us here. She actually was a beauty consultant years ago in Lisa Ann Harmon's unit. And so she's coming here Saturday, April 28th. And you guys, it's a hands-on workshop. Like, you got to be here. It's $45 as long as you pay by this Friday. After that, it goes up to $50, okay? Maybe you can't stay all day. Maybe you can only come for part of the day. Sarah's going to be in the morning. Then we're all having lunch. From 1 to 3, National Sales Director Sue Yubel will be here. And she's going to be doing like confidence, talking about, you know, building your business like your head and your heart and things along those lines. And then 3 to 4 p.m. is for anybody who moves up 
one level of the career path, you get special time with Sue Yubel, okay? You guys, I want so many people there from our national area. I want it just to be like loud and like proud our national area. So you got to pay your director by Friday the $45. If you can't stay for the whole day, it's still worth it. It's worth it to come have lunch and, and have time with Sue Yubel in the afternoon. It's worth it if you can only be there in the morning. Don't be one of these like all or nothing. Like, well, I can't be there the whole time. Who cares? Come for part of it because you're going to get blessed. All right. Melissa Delegati moved up a level. Woohoo! It's anybody who moved up since March 1st. You get that special time with Sue, and there's also a special lunch. So everybody gets lunch, but it's a special lunch if you've moved up the career path, okay? So get your money in, get your money in, get your money in. <sighs> We're done. But before you hang up, remember, if you're in, you're in for this 20000 retail, I need your ring size. And I can't return these rings. So I'm counting on your word, like you're a woman of your word. It's because I want to make sure that you have your ring at seminar waiting for you at seminar as my thank you gift to you. For some of you who are watching this, you could take these ideas and you could be getting a real diamond ring because it could take you over the 40000 retail mark. So I just want you to know it's totally in your ball court. You can do it. And I want to just leave you with this last little poem, okay? It says, come to the edge. But Lord, I don't like it on the edge, I answered. Come to the edge. I'm afraid of the edge. Come to the edge. But what if I come to the edge and I fall off? Trust me, come to the edge. I trust you, Lord. I went to the edge and he pushed me off and then I flew. And that's what I know that this business, this challenge that we're talking about right now is going to do for you of hitting that 20,000 retail and being on the Princess Court of Sales. Each and every one of you I've given you enough ideas here that you could be selling like 20, uh, let's see, over 20,000 retail if you have nothing in. And almost all of you have something in. So thank you for this hour plus time that you've given me of your life. Now let's work together. Call your director. Tell her your goal. Message me. Let me know. Comment here. Get your ring size in here. Because you guys... We're going to be a diamond circle area with your help. Can I count on you? All right, you guys. Love you. Love you. To, love you. Love you. Bye.